Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. In this edition let's talk about the Samridh initiative of the government. Now the Samridh initiative was launched back in August 2021 but recently it was in news again as the Atal Innovation Mission, the Niti Aayog and the US Agency for International Development, USAID, announced a new partnership under this Samridh initiative. As we know that the Niti Aayog is policy think tank of the government of india which was established by an executive resolution after replacing the planning commission to achieve cooperative federalism it is a flagship initiative set up by the niti aayog to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country so let's discuss the samridh initiative so if we talk about the objectives and need of samridh initiative it is to improve the access to affordable and quality healthcare for vulnerable populations in the tier 2 and tier 3 cities tier 2 are the cities which have population of around 1 million but the minor cities with population of less than 1 million are termed as tier 3 cities and with this they have also talked about the rural and tribal regions secondly to mobilize a capital pool of 100 plus million dollars from private sector and bilateral organizations across the healthcare landscape to tackle the pandemic and its continued threat to healthcare system and finally to bridge the supply side gaps in the healthcare facilities if we talk about the background of this initiative in 2020 the USAID IPE global and stakeholders from indian government academia and private sector developed the innovative samrith blended finance facility so what is blended finance it is an approach towards financing where the catalytic funding for example grants and concessional capital from the public and philanthropic sources is utilized to mobilize additional private sector investment to realize the social goals and outcomes so let us talk about the health infrastructure in india over the last 5 years india's healthcare sector has grown rapidly with a compound annual growth rate of 22% however we have seen challenges due to covid-19 Our total health infrastructure was 2.1% of the GDP in 2021-22 in which about 63% was the out of pocket expenditure also we have a life expectancy of 69.8 years if we talk about some of the national public health initiatives we have ayushman bharat national digital health mission the national health policy 2017 jan aushadi pariyojana mission intradhanush etc now some of the major challenges include low doctor to patient ratio lack of infrastructure health regional inequality low budget rising the non communicable diseases low health insurance coverage governance issues etc a general analysis states that india spends the least on health among the brics countries brazil spends the most that is 9.2% of the gdp followed by south africa with 8.1% russia with 5.3% china with 5% and as we have discussed india spends around 2.1% of the gdp on health now let us talk about the previous version of samridh scheme it stands for startup accelerators of mighty for product innovation development and growth mighty stands for ministry of electronics and information technology and this particular ministry launched the samridh scheme with an aim to create a conducive platform for indian software product startups to enhance their products and secure investments for scaling their businesses now let us take up a practice question on this topic consider the following statements first the samridh initiative is a flagship program of ministry of health and family welfare for developing a quality healthcare system in tier 3 cities Second, India contributes more than 3% of GDP to health expenditure since 2020-2021. Which of the given above statements is correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer is D. That is neither statement 1 nor 2 is correct. So the first statement is wrong. as samrith is an initiative of the ministry of electronics and information technology and not of the ministry of health and family welfare 
Second statement is also wrong as India has spent around 2.1% of its GDP to health expenditure since 2020-2021. So the correct answer is option D. This was all for today's topic of the day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel. Yeah.